explain to you what's going on. Right. Wait, here what we're doing is we have our students. They're being taught sure. how to yeah. work on uh -huh. data disk-based operation. What we're train, doing is training them for a position so that they can go out and they can work on data. I know what they're doing is payroll summary. To be able to do the payroll on the hospital insurance company. Thing that has to be multiplied uh, hundreds of times. All the people need is some hope and some help. But as I understand, from the first beginning here, there are now some 21 more. And I agree with you, there must be many more. And if there are several more are planned in addition to those, those 21. This is where the job will be when people must be skilled in training these jobs and the government has to help more. And private sector and everybody together help a lot of people, but we need a lot of help. We need from everybody, from the government, the private sector. Everybody. All right. <laughs> Just did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Betty Wallace. That must work processing students and they've mastered the equipment. She's working on a 50 page document and she's moving paragraphs from page 2 to page 38. The mic's back, please. And. <laughs> Stacy Hill. She's working on a math project and uh, a document that she has, and she's updating that math column there, and she's kind of reading it. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> so they're mastering now all the advanced techniques of word processing. <laughs> these ladies, I tell you, uh, I'll take you in my class anytime. Mr. <laughs> President, these ladies started from the beginning, and now all of them have been placed on jobs. They will be starting work soon, am I right? And they're on their way. All they need is some money and some help to prove what they can do. Isn't that right? And yeah. we can do it a thousand, thousand, thousand times. Right. Mr. President, do programs like this need some federal money as well to, uh, to get going? Yes, and this is what we met last night and what I was talking about, of, of the using of federal funds in 
It's called collaboration with the private sector, with the community and all, and what our job training program is all about. Okay. Aiming it at areas and aiming it for the jobs that are available and open in those areas. And Boston has become uh, one of the centers of high technology. You won't be seeking to cut any of this? What? You won't be seeking to cut any of this when you freeze the budget? No, what we, what we originally cut was CETA, but that was more than made up by uh, the private sector and our own job training program and we, where we think it is superior to CETA is that out of CETA on the whole, only about 18 cents out of the dollar actually went to training. And our one jo job program that has already passed, we figured that more than 70 cents out of every dollar is going to go into training. And so what we've been trying to do is make a change into what we think are more efficient ways to get the job done. Mr. President, uh, some of the officials here and at the plant, the digital plant, complain that because of the cuts and things like urban development grants and investment bonds, that they don't have the resources that they used to have and before you came in. Well, there is uh, one group that had a, had a grant, has a grant still, except that it has never been able to get a client for the building that it wanted to put up here in one of the uh, centers. And under the law, as it was passed and long before we got there, uh, there comes a time if they cannot produce a client in which then that grant is withdrawn. Now, I don't know what the status of it is right now. It has not been withdrawn as yet. Mr. President, as you know, you're in an area of high unemployment. For those who may not have seen your speech last night, what can you tell those unemployed people in this particular area, not in the building, but in the surrounding neighborhood? Well, what I said last night, and apparently in a poll taken after the speech, uh, a great majority of the people believed that we are on the mend. Uh, it is true that in all the recessions we've ever had, the last thing that improves is unemployment. But we have a different situation than maybe some of the previous or earlier recessions. This has been coming on for some time. It isn't unique to this particular period. But we have an unemployment situation that is only part recession. If the recession were ended tomorrow, we would find that in this country, there is a need for just what we're seeing here for retraining because we're in a great transition period. There are some people that will never go back to the jobs they had because those jobs will no longer exist. But there will be new jobs. And uh, you all of you seem to take it the wrong way when I say it. But again, let me refer to uh, any Sunday metropolitan newspaper and to peruse the help wanted ads. Uh, when I say that you've distorted it somewhat, you've indicated that I'm trying to say that there are people who don't want work. No, it isn't that at all. If you look at them, here in a time of great unemployment, our employers looking for people to work. And the reason those ads are there is because we still have not met the problem of training people for the job skills that need to be filled that they're advertising for. In the last two years, some three million new people entered the job market. There weren't people laid off from other jobs. They are newcomers to the job market. And we have not been producing at the rate we should the new jobs to take care of that upsurge. And right here, I've just been handed a message from the computer. The date, and then good afternoon, Mr. President. Welcome to the High Technology Training Center. America is on the mend. Americans can still pull together for the common good. That's in quotation marks. I thank you very much. We can, and we're going to. Mr. President, thank you, sir. No more questions. I'm sorry. Sam, that's enough. They're not Please. going to make the cuts <coughs> in some of these uh, domestic programs that you asked for last night. Well, as I said last night, we know it is, but it hasn't been easy ever since we've been there. There are going to be legitimate differences of opinion. We're going to continue to work with them, and as I said, in a bipartisan way, I was quite heartened by that film they made some weeks ago that they ran right after my speech. Because they didn't know what I was going to say in the speech, but they said all the same things in their film that they had already said in the speech that I wanted. <laughs> so they were going to get along all right. I've said to the president that we, unemployment is vast and high in our cities. And you have hundreds of thousands of people in unemployment lines and on street corners all this country. And we need jobs and we need training. And we're looking to the government and to the president to help us to get that job done and the private sector. And Dr. Sullivan started a project of this kind on his own, one man starting it. 
and it is spreading all over the country. And as you just heard, these young ladies here are already placed in positions now as a result of this training. And, and congratulations. Yeah, we'd like to keep those programs running so that other disadvantaged people may be able to. And we're going to. We want to expand them, expand not cut them, them. expand them. Expand them. To help our people. Reverend we'll Sullivan, are you question. satisfied with the President's mm -hmm. said in the State of the Union about jobs? We'll we'll Always listen and then wait and see. Mm. <laughs> we're going to the terminal. We're going to the next sir, 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 is it true that you won't let Mr. Begin come here until he withdraws from Lebanon? Oh, or is that's it a story a that you won't set a date for his visit until he withdraws? Sam, there's, there's an answer to that question, but I'm not going to take it now because uh, I'm only going to talk about computers and young people and jobs today.
Six seconds while you tell me when. I can stop when you want me to. I remember your applause when the press keeps questioning me for days now. Mr. Garza, it's interesting that some of the members of the American Business Conference so have been really studying the issue that you addressed in terms of the taxes and the cost of capital. And, uh, I can assure you that your announcement of establishing a position is very exciting. ABC, the growth companies in this country are more than one to The President, I thank you so much for accepting my invitation, and you were so gracious to be here at Medicare. I am most pleased to be here. 